Hi, welcome to this Corp Maps primary video on multiplying decimals. In this video, we're going to look at how to multiply decimals by whole numbers. So our first question is 2.3 multiplied by 4. The most important part, part in multiplying decimals by whole numbers, in my opinion, is how you lay it out. So 2.3 multiplied by 4. So I've written 2.3, the decimal number on the top, multiplied by then the whole number beneath it. Put the line down like so, and just line up the decimal point in the answer directly beneath that that's in the question. And then you just multiply as usual. So 4 times 3 is 12, put the 2 down, carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So the answer is 9.2, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at another example. So our next question is 0 0.9 times by 6. So again, the decimal number on the top, 0 0.9, multiplied by 6, Put the line beneath it and line up the decimal points and then just multiply. 6 times 9 is 54. Put the 4 down, carry the 5. 6 times 0 is 0, plus 5 is 5. So the answer would be 5.4. Okay, our next question. Our next question is 5 multiplied by 1.47. So again, put the decimal number on the top, 4 point, or 1.47 times by 5. Put the line beneath it line up the decimal points so here and then just multiply so 5 times 7 is 35 put the 5 down carry the 3 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3 is 23 so put the 3 down carry the 2 and 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7 so the answer is 7.35 okay our next question our next question is 0 0.3 times by 40 so we're going to put our 0 0.3 down and times by 40 and again, put the line beneath it, or line beneath, and line up the decimal points. Now, just like a normal multiplication, or your column method, whenever you're timesing by 40, what you would do is you put the zero down first, and then you would times everything by four. And this is what we're gonna do. We put the zero down, four times three is 12, put the two down, carry the one, and four times zero is zero, plus one is one. So the answer is 12. Now, again, this is just the same method as normal multiplication, just making sure we're lining up the decimal points. Okay, our next question. Our next question is 2.9 times by 500. So again, put the decimal number down and times by 500. Line up the decimal points, and now we're just gonna multiply as, as usual. So because we're multiplying by 500, we're gonna put two zeros down, and now we're just gonna multiply it all by five. So five times nine is 45. Put the 5 down, carry the 4. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14. So the answer would be, just making sure we're looking at this, 1450.0, because we've got a point zero, we can just write down 1450, and that's it. Okay, and our last question. So our last question is 42 multiplied by 3.8. So again, let's put the decimal number on the top. So 3.8 multiplied by 42. Now again, this is going to be two digit by two digit multiplication. So we're going to have two numbers um, that we're going to have to add together at the end. So we're going to write down two decimal points here and here. And then we're going to multiply first of all by two and then we'll multiply by 40. So two times eight is 16. So put the six down, carry the one. And two times three is six plus one is seven. And then we're going to be multiplied by 40. So put the zero down. 4 times 8 is 32, put the 2 down, carry the 3, and 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3 is equal to 15. And then we're just going to add these two together to get our answer. So again, line up the decimal points. 6 plus 0 is 6, 7 plus 2 is 9, and 5, 1. So the answer is 159.6, and that's it. 